right, we're getting we're getting torn up a little bit there. Hello reformers and welcome back to Freeman. Now when we left off we had just taken yet another town and uh, when I loaded in here actually the faction of the Chinivkan Front Rebellion had uh, been destroyed. So they are now out of the game and uh, well hopefully they're not going to be attacking us anytime soon. Well obviously they're not anymore. Anyway as you can see here I've done a little bit of restructuring just because we have a party size of 65 it would make sense for us to have squads of five. So that's exactly what we're going to try and do here. As you can see I have Omelette here with only one member. So what are we going to do about that? Well we have a bunch of prisoners here which we are hopefully going to be able to persuade to join us. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's get them. Yeah, oh yeah. Everyone everyone wants to join us. That's nice. There we go. Very good. Okay, so that's nice in itself. That means I will be able to add to omelette here. And it seems like we're probably going to have to add maybe just one extra here. Or maybe we should just wait a little bit. Hmm, maybe we should make a new squad. Should we make a new squad and actually see... Oh no, this is uh, this is bad, because I have no idea. Wait a minute, uh, uh... We don't really... We don't have any vegetables. Should I just, should I just call it broccoli or something? Uh, yeah, go on then. There you go. Everyone loves broccoli, right? There we go. So that's what we got. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we just got all the, all the... All the carbohydrates and everything. We just don't really have too much greenery I guess so we're just gonna go for some broccoli <laughs> great okay so we just got this one guy who's gonna be hopefully leveling up into an ARF marine relatively soon and uh, speaking of that let's uh, oh. okay apparently I'm not going to be recruiting anyone here let's rest for a little bit get our soldiers back on their feet and uh, oh yeah by the way you can now also see the the taxes they, they're kind of you know getting themselves sorted out a little bit here and you can see that I'm getting an income of 700 per day however we're gonna be getting a lot more by building all this stuff yes let us build all of it there we go very nice and now we're getting 1575 bear in mind that I I think yeah there you go you can actually collect tax so that's cool I, I did actually see a I think a comment or something like that, maybe it was on the forums, I'm not entirely sure, that said, how do we pick up tax? Well, it seems like I can just pick up tax from here. I'm not going to pick it up just yet, because I'd like to pick up a whole big sum instead of just picking up 700. I'd like to pick up, I don't know, 3,000, 4,000 or something like that. Hopefully we're going to get to do that. And uh, is there anything else I want to do here? Maybe a contract? Train three freedom snipers. Mm, I guess... I mean, I actually do have Freedom Snipers, technically, so I could just literally head back in here and... I don't, I don't know. Don't I? Wait, oh no, wait, wait. They have to be out of a squad, don't they? So let's actually just see. There's one here. One here. And that's a Posner Sharpshooter. And there is actually one in Omelette's group, as far as I'm aware. Yep, there you go. Okay. So this might be actually working out quite well because I am going to look around for some additional units to sort of join us and I don't exactly know which icon to give these guys so I'm just gonna give them a green one because you know broccoli and, and you know what we're gonna just take this guy out and put him in with his friends and then we're gonna give broccoli the whole new squad whenever that may be alright so let's head back into Lipno and there you go 23,000 instantly that's Pretty cool, in my opinion. Alright, so apart from that, donating, is that going to do anything? Doesn't seem like it does anything still, but that's okay. Still early access, of course. Changes are being made. Alright, so otherwise I have leveled up, and I did say that I was going to level up intelligence, which is exactly what I'm going to do, so that we can get an additional point in medical and first aid. And we probably want to get something else as well, maybe something like trading, because... I'm finding that being able to sell things for a huge amount of money is really pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, it makes a huge difference. Considering I don't have that much space due to, the, due to the amount of gasoline I'm actually carrying right now. And obviously, my Type 79 sniper rifle uses a different type of ammo 
from our assault rifle. So that's exactly what we're doing here. This pistol is absolutely useless now, as well as this ammo. This ammo is, is pretty much useless as well. I might as well just give this SMG to someone else because it doesn't seem like I'm going to be using an SMG soon again, which is kind of sad because I actually really like the close range combat, but we can still do that. We still have a huge amount of camouflage and everything, so we can still technically do that. Anyway, let's head on over. Uh, I'm actually unsure where to head to right now. We've got some Posner civilians right there. I am, I, I know, I am leaving this with zero people, but I actually wanted to try and, well, recruit some more from Lipno, but they don't seem to have any available, so it seems like I'm going to have to go over here instead. Mercenaries are going to cost 5,000. That's actually not even that much. So I guess we'll just gain some mercenaries, I guess. Wow, that's a huge amount of them. That is really quite a lot for 5,000. I guess they're not exactly the highest tier units, so that's pretty good. Ah, now the FCA are allies with us at the moment, or at least they are friendly with us. And we're going to just take these mercenaries and just put them in the garrison here. I'm not really worried about really leveling them up or anything like that. I, I don't really mind too much about it. So let's have a quick look at the world map and actually see where we should head to next. So... From my reckoning, we should probably attack Zashkiv next. Because that's all the way over there. It's basically by itself and doesn't really have any way to gain reinforcements, which is exactly what we want. Oh, apparently these guys attacked me. Or did I misclick? Maybe I misclicked. Well, doesn't really matter. It would be a nice idea to maybe get our new additions a little bit of extra experience. Why not? And by that... We are going to send in omelette who have extremely bad morale. Oh dear. That's not very nice, is it? Okay, well, I guess I'll just send them all in then. We'll send a, a couple of people in here. And we're going to send them over in this direction. We're not really going to do too much in the way of tactics here. We, we, we are probably going to outnumber these guys in terms of skills. And, uh, well... As you can see, we have, I think we have the environment on our side as well, because, I mean, let's face it, it's raining, it's dark, and we have some night ops units with us. So I think we are, I think we're pretty good. We're in a pretty good position. And I am going to, oh, oh, I don't even know. I don't know, I don't know whether I should use my night vision or not. It's just very, very, very bright indeed, isn't it? Okay, so let's see if I can actually, nope. Oh yeah, there we go. That was a nice hit right there. And now they are starting to, hit the deck, as it were. Okay, let me see if I can... Oh, wow. The, the, the kickback from this is crazy. There we go. Yeah, there is a little bit of travel time. Obviously, you do have to bear that in mind. And when they're standing still, that makes it all the more easy. Yeah, I think these guys are mostly looters. So in general, basically what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to charge straight at them because I don't think we are really going to have too many difficulties, if any, about dealing with them. And I think we should also run in ourselves and see if we can do a little bit of damage here. I'm actually going to use full auto with my assault rifle. I never usually do this because it's just not... It's not very efficient, especially when you're in a siege or something like that, but right now I I don't really mind too much about basically anything. I, I think we're pretty good as we are. And, uh, oh, look at that, our new companion's actually getting a couple of kills right there. Very nice to see that. And uh, maybe we can take a new contract as well. Oh, there's level 21. Very nice indeed. Okay, yeah. So I'd like to take a new contract, maybe to level up a couple more Freedom Snipers, or level up something. And maybe we already have them, who knows? I think that could be pretty cool. Okay, so, have we already eliminated? Yeah, we've already gone to where we needed to go here. Let's just spread everyone out and make sure that we are going in decent enough places. And we'll try and track down the last remaining four enemies. It would be nice if they'd either flee or show themselves so that we can finish this battle with honor. Yes. Let's see if they're actually around here. I don't see them anywhere. 
Ah, well it seems like I've found a couple of the enemies. As you can see here, there's three of them, and there is actually another one off to the, well, pretty far away. You can see here, this is where we are right now. I'm sniping these guys in this little red area here, and there's one in this little forested area. So we're hopefully going to be able to catch up with them soon enough, and we are actually getting some nice hits on these guys. Hopefully I will be able to eliminate them. There we go, because that guy had a pretty decent spot to try and eliminate our fellows, because he was hiding behind a pretty nice piece of cover, and uh, he probably would have done some decent damage. And we don't want that. We don't want that. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that that was that was that guy, and now <laughs> the last one is all the way over here for some unknown reason. I don't exactly know what happened there, but yeah, we're just gonna spread these guys out a little bit here. Just gonna make sure that we're not gonna take a grenade or something like that. I mean, I don't think it really matters too much, but uh, yeah. We'll hopefully be fine to eliminate that guy. I've been walking around literally for, I don't even know, like four minutes or something like that, just trying to find these guys. Couldn't find them and had to wait, you know, had to wait until the the radar kicked in. But uh, yeah, hopefully, oh, he's moving. Look at that. He's actually moving over here. This is not good. That is not good at all. Ah, there we go. And it just so happened to be an armored marauder killed by an armored marauder. Hilarious, isn't it? Okay, well, there you go. That's not too bad. And uh, the loot is obviously going to be reasonable. Not anything to really write home about here. But thanks to our trade skill, it's going to be much better. Much better. All right. We did actually capture a whole bunch as well, which I, I suppose is pretty nice in itself. And let's take a look and see what's actually going on here at Zashkiv and we're gonna pay the passage fee just to get inside here so that we can actually do a little bit of selling and uh, yeah we'll just sell all these things I by the way did take the loot that we earned in a previous battle and gave it to our combat medics because they generally don't have the best weapons or armor so giving them a little bit of a boost here and there is always a good idea and that's exactly what I did. So let's see if there's anything else here I really want to get. Not particularly, but I'll buy that desert NATO helmet or something like that and we'll just sell the rest here. There we go. All right, that seems pretty good to me. And uh, is there anything else I want to get here? Well, yeah, maybe some ammo. Let's get a little bit more sniper ammo just in case. And shall we recruit some more soldiers? Okay, we can recruit... Ah, ARF guys. Okay, so let's recruit some more ARF then. And there's actually five of them. Wow, that's a pretty nice coincidence. So we're going to take these fellows out of this squad, even though we could rename them. But I've already selected the icon there, and I think that's... I think it's as good a time as any to place them in this one. There we go, and we can disband this squad. Thank you very much. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, so let's reward our troops, and we can also level up these fellows into Freedom Snipers if we so desire. I think I'll level level them up into Freedom Snipers. That sounds like a good plan to me. And uh, hopefully they're going to prove themselves in this upcoming siege. So, yeah, that's, that's hopefully going to be working out pretty nicely for us. We do have now 66, thanks to that additional point in Intelligence, party size. So I, I hope that's okay. Is there actually someone trying to kill me right now? I think this this fellow might be trying to attack me. He has 84. Wow, that's actually an ARF National Guard company. That might be pretty tough, but I don't think so. I think we I think we'll be able to beat them if they do decide to attack us. Anyway, we have now leveled up once again, and I do have the opportunity to max out on navigation and looting, but I don't think that's really necessary right now. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm literally thinking I'll probably go for one in constitution, one in agility, and then we'll just put another point in looting. We have one skill point available after all. Let's put some more points in melee, because maybe I'll be doing some melee, who knows, it really depends. Okay, so without further ado, let us attack. Zashkiv, and we'll see how we do. Now, bear in mind that I do have the sniper rifle. That's going to make things a whole lot easier. But this environment seems 
very sparse. I'm not a big fan of that. Suffice it to say. Alright, well, let's just place everyone that we can out there. Ah, we need to get more commanding skill. Oh well, maybe next level we'll try to do that. Okay, so this seems pretty good to me. I don't think we are going to have too many difficulties with this, but bear in mind that the ARF has proven to be quite surprising in the past. So let's have a look here. We're going to take these guys around like so. And we're going to just spread them out just a little bit. We, we don't want to make sure that they get, you know, too close. There we go. And then we'll take these three. And we're going to take them like this. And we'll just place them around a little bit as well. Bear in mind that this is just very, very loose. And I personally feel like this is not really going to make too much difference. Because I think they're probably going to encounter enemies before they even get there. So let's just see how it goes anyway. Okay, so I'm going to get my sniper rifle out. Whoa. Yeah, a lot of lag right there, because we have a lot of enemies and, indeed, a lot of allied units being spawned in. And I'm going to just do it like like this. Medkits and all that sort of stuff are obviously going to be rather useful here. And bear in mind that Omelette is a little bit injured. That squad is a little bit injured, so hope maybe maybe Broccoli will get a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of action time. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, seems like... It's, it's, it's the classic, it's the classic thing, isn't it? You know, just leaving broccoli until the last. Even though I actually find broccoli to be pretty tasty most of the time. So anyway, let's see if we're going to be able to maybe sneak up on some of our opponents. Who knows? Let's see here. It's nice to have a bit of an, a bit of a better scope to to see things. A little bit more zoomed in. Wow, that zoom is actually pretty good. I know there is the PKA scope, so maybe that would be a thing that we might try to use with our assault rifle, but yeah, right now, this is looking pretty desolate. Looking like there's not many enemies at all. I thought that was one. Ah, there's a whole bunch over there, but that's not really going to help us. And it seems like there's no one here. Interesting, interesting. I actually thought there would probably be someone at this outlying building, but if there isn't, then we might have to compromise our height advantage here and actually start moving in to the actual town, which is something that we have never really done until the cleanup at the end. So this might be compromising and not in a good way. No, not in a good way at all, but it seems like our other friends have engaged the enemy. So I suppose that's good. Let's move these fellows a little bit more over here. And I guess we're going to start moving these guys into the town itself. Ah, there we go. We might actually be seeing some, some action going on there. And speaking of action, I should probably head up there and say hi. Ah, hello. Yes, there's a whole bunch of them firing away here. Let me see if I can... What? He didn't die? He didn't die. Oh, well, there we go. Alright, we're getting, we're getting torn up a little bit there. Getting torn up a lot more there, apparently. What was I actually getting? Wait a minute. He's shooting through the wall. Did you see that? I think he was shooting through the wall. That, uh, that's that's illegal. He shouldn't be doing that. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's start moving these fellows a little bit closer in. Maybe to help me out a little bit here. That might be kind of nice. So let's place them around here. And our friends on the sort of other side here are doing a pretty fantastic job themselves. Let's start moving them a little bit closer as well. And uh, hopefully that's going to work out in our favor. Who knows? I've lost a lot of armor as well, which is not great. Going back here is a, a bad idea. Would not recommend. Yep. 
Yeah, there's a whole bunch. Do you see that? There's a whole bunch behind the wall here as well, which is kind of bad. Oh yeah. Oh, that was that was that was harsh. All right. Let's get these guys up here, and it might be an idea to actually place those fellas over there. We'll see how that goes. Let's uh, see what's going to happen here. Yeah, I may have needed to, mm, yeah, bring some extra ammo for the assault rifle. Oh, he's getting owned. All right. Well, he's dead. That's nice. Our freedom snipers are finally kicking in here because they have moved a little bit closer. And as you can see, they are... They are kind of flanking them a little bit, which is nice. Okay, so what we want to do is maybe move these guys over here, these fellows just a little bit closer to the wall. Alright. Things... Yeah, I think it, things are going okay. I mean, you can already see that we are taking out a lot of their very high tier units. We've got some Spec Ops guys. Whoa, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know whether you've noticed, but the ACOG scope seems to be drifting downwards slightly. And I'm not entirely sure why that is, but it's drifting downwards and making it so that it's not in the center of my screen, as you can see right there. Did you see that? So I, whenever I move, that's what, that's what, look, there you go. And then it's actually not where the center of the screen is. So that may need a bit of a, a looking at in terms of a bug fix, probably. But anyway, as you can see, that's not the center of the screen right there. It's, it's just drifting downwards ever so slightly. It's a kind of, it's kind of a bit weird. Don't know why that's doing that. Anyway, uh, this scope is also doing the same thing. So I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh, that was a nice hit, though kind of, you know what I really want to do? I really want to equip my my axe and just run in there and murder everything, but they have 56 still remaining, so it's probably not the best idea, is it? No. Oh, there is actually someone right there. One of my guys is right there. Okay, let's go and help him. Okay, we helped him a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. Oh, he's actually... Is he actually going in there? If he's actually going in there, that's pretty crazy. Okay, fish and chips, you need to retreat. Ah, oh, they're being they're being flanked a little bit there, but that's alright. That's actually not too bad for them. Support waffles, you're going to need to get out of here as well. We are going to lose a couple of people here. Let's, should we get broccoli into the mix? Broccoli is going to be all the way back here, which is really... What? Why is roast dinner all the way back here? This is not good. Okay, well let's get them, let's get them coming this way. There we go. Okay, I think we should be fine. I mean, they're they're starting to dwindle now. Their forces are actually starting to dwindle, so nothing to worry about, I don't think. Yeah, it seems fine. Seems perfectly fine. So the only thing we need to do now is just eliminate. The last 30, and then we should have captured this town. Hello. I'd like to I'd like to murder that fellow, because he's actually trying to stand in the in the wall there and trying to shoot us. I think he's probably been quite successful in actually killing people from within the wall there, which is not very good. I only have 12 bullets remaining, bear that in mind. Hello. Oh, there we go. Is he dead? Ah, uh, no. He was very much alive and decided to murder me. So, there you go. <laughs> we did have a very good engagement. I'm actually going to leave the battlefield here. Don't think we'll be able to finish this up. But, that's the thing, you know. I wanted to get in there. Didn't have much ammo left. They only have 31 remaining. So, we're going to restore ourselves and then go back in in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.